I thought that I'm a minimalist. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Do I need to count socks and underwear? So I have 160 items. I need to declutter. I divided all things into categories. So I have pyjama, underwear and socks, short sleeve t-shirts, leggings, dresses, long sleeve t-shirts and jackets, sweaters and hoodies, shorts, pants, skirts, accessories. I also have things I wear only at home, clothes which I wear only for sport, garden and outdoor things. And of course, shoes. Let's see. Here I was asking an advice. I wanted to buy this jacket and I've got an advice to buy the red one. And after a while I bought a white one too. And I mostly wear that one. Here I was copying a blogger who said that this cardigan is so warm and cozy. Reality, too hot inside, too cold outside because of these holes. So I mostly use that as a blanket. Well, hello, hello, spontaneous shopping. Known brand, cheap price. Too small, give me blisters, but very beautiful. Not my style, but I listen to advice. I want to buy something. I tried to suit them up, but that didn't work. Very cheap price and very low quality. And that is another topic. We think that is a good deal to buy a cheap clothes. But is that true? Let's find a real price. We only see the price of a product and never think about the price per one wear. the socks for 15 euros very beautiful print actually it is very beautiful print but my feet are sweating here wear it once and good quality doesn't mean an expensive price as an example don't forget about second hand As I see it, I can wear good quality clothes for years. And the cost per wear is much cheaper than the price listed. My skin feels so much happier when I wear natural fabrics for everyday attire.
and the opt for synthetics for sports and mountaineering. And the funny thing that I mostly wear the same clothes all the time. So I have 19 things to declutter. I split them to three categories. Throw away. Give someone and a box with the give a try. So I will put there all the things I'm not sure about and I'll wait for a year. Now I see clearly what I have, what I wear mostly, and what I need to buy. So I've already created a list with the things I want to buy, and now I can see clearly what I have, what I wear mostly, and what I need to buy. And the most exciting thing here that when I will be at the shop, I can recheck my list and I will buy the things I need and I will choose the colors and models and materials I want to buy but not the commercial or shop or trends are suggesting me. So I hope you found something useful in this video because I actually found a lot while I, while I was filming this video and if you are still interested in wardrobe decluttering you can check this video and thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.